We need some wiggly worms. Now, cabinet 32. Oh, what have you been eating? Well, hello and welcome back to my office. It is a Monday, so that means it is a picking and packing day. So you guessed it, we're going to pick some orders. Um, we haven't had a particularly busy weekend, mainly because all of last week I was doing work on the house still trying to get the house ready to list and put on the market. So I didn't list much at all last week, maybe a handful of bits. I did get a load of stuff prepped and drafted. There's some um, PlayStations, there's a PS2 there, a PS3 in the back there you might be able to see. Um, all sorts of stuff is prepped and drafted ready to list, but Hardly anything went on last week. So the net result was we had a fairly quiet weekend, but we can pick some orders. There's one pretty tasty order in there and then a lot of small stuff, but it all adds up pretty quick. So we will pick this. I can see there's at least one message I need to read out from a viewer, which is fantastic. So I will get you set up and we will pick some orders. Okay, so that's you perched on a record box. Don't fall off. So, I am at the bottom of the list we, we need to pick and the first two things are postcards. So the last two postcards I had, um, local interest ones that we picked up on a jumble trail. Um, I listed them all on auction, we sold a bunch. I relisted them on auction at slightly lower starting prices and the same chap made offers on two, which I accepted at £7.50 a card. So we will grab those first. He bought some of the other ones as well, this guy. Um, and he's bought the last two. So, I think, he, I think it's the last, yeah. Only two left and he's bought both. So street scenes from I think these are roughly 1920s and can you hear there's a delivery truck outside beeping because it's reversing what's he doing um, so yeah those are going to a chap and they're going to a village about five miles from here so they don't have far to go uh, so yeah, 750 on offer each, so 14 pounds for the pair. Nice order. We have sold some Faber Castell double-ended felt tip pens and Harry Potter book set set one. Now this is the tasty order. Um, this is going out on offer at 75 pounds, and it's this set here. So if I just move these, hang on, get those out of the way, get those out of the way, and then I'm going to have to come back because I can't do this one-handed. There's a limit to my talents, but yes, that set is going at 75. I took an offer, um, but very happy with that. So let me perch you back up here for a second and we will grab them. And the pens as well, pen, pens, these ones. So, the pens that I mentioned, I think are these, yes, another pack of those, which are double-ended felt tip pens. I think we've only got a couple left, three left according to that. So those are going out, and then this is, you've seen these many times I'm sure, a set, a mixed set of paperback and hardback Harry Potters with an extra hardback of the Cursed Child in there as well. So that's great to see those move. I think we've got one set left of the Potters. Okay, so we need um, Sisters of Mercy Temple of Love CD single, Stabilo Trio 2-in-1 double-ended felt tip pens. So the Stabilo version of those that we just picked 
um, which is going to Louise and there's a message on the order. Let's read that. Hi Nick, love the YouTube channel and just had to buy something from the huge stationery bundle, my favourite haul yet of yours. Take care and many thanks Louise. So thank you so much Louise, we will grab those in a second. And then we need 24 times Stabilo Trio Thick Kids colouring pencils. The last pair of those is going as well. So, Stabilo Trio, double-ended, Sisters of Mercy, and Thick Kids colouring pencils. Okay, so Sisters of Mercy CD. Um, where is that? It's here. Am I even looking in the right direction? <laughs> This one, I had the limited um, version of this, which was in a card box. Do you remember that a while back? Um, these, that's the pair that are going. And then, are these the, no, they're the Faber-Castells. So where are it's these that I moved before? Yes. Okay. So. Thank you so much, Louise. I'm pretty sure these are the ones that we needed. Yeah. So again, double-ended felt-tip pens. Thank you so much. These are the last of these going out. Two packs of those. And Sisters of Mercy. Great band. Job done. So, moving on, we need an HP printer um, power lead, six Stabilo Easy Start triangular coloured left-handed pencils, <laughs> uh, one pack of those, uh, some Super Soaker Nerf guns, they've been st sticking around for ages, um, I sent out uh, an offer on that and it got picked off, and another HP charger power supply, so blimey, two HP power leads, super soakers, and some of those stabilos. Okay, so let's grab the pencils first. So it's these, we are running low on those now. Started with a great big stack of those. Um, they've gone quite well. I tweaked the price downwards on these and it, it really kick-started the listing. So that's worked. Um, now, HP leads. Is that one? Yep, that's an HP. I don't know if you can see, there's so much writing on there. That's one of the two, and a very similar one is. Is it that one? Oh, it's got something stuck to it. Let me put you up there. That one. HP, yes, pretty sure. I will check the. Um, the model numbers on these to make sure they're right. Um, and then what was it? Super soakers. I don't have enough hands for those. So we'll get those in a second. So yes, these are the pencils. Chunky triangular easy start pencils. And then let's double check these. So HP printer 0957221 that's going to be that one. 09572231. There you go. Job done. Tenner for that. And eight pounds on the other one, I believe. Double check it's the right one. R33030. Okay. Yes. R33030. There's a tiny little number in there. You're not going to see it. But that's the right one. Hurrah. Um, right, Super Soakers. Not really the right time of year to be selling these. These were listed before Christmas and didn't get picked off for some reason. Um, but I sent out a £20 offer just to get them moving. So there's a, a few different guns. I think there's, yeah, there's three of that one. Just basic water pistols, really. One slightly larger one. And 
a little ditty handgun. So I'm just going to slide those across there. Whee! <laughs> Why am I doing this? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> right. Make a little heap down there. Job done. It's good to get those gone. They've been sat on that shelf forever. Right, we sold a DVD for £10. That would be the day. Live in Bournemouth. We have sold the Playmobil Hospital. So that's a nice bulky order going out as well. Plus some Playmobil DVDs to the same buyer. So let's do that. So that would be the day DVD. That would be the day. Where's that then? Okay, I'm going to move this out of the way. Nope. Oh, it's here. It's right here. Okay, so that's that. This is a, a musical. That one sold for £10, quite nice. And then we need this hospital. Now, as we discovered in the last picking orders video, that is the furniture that goes with it in that box. Though that's a separate lot, so that's not going. But it's all of this. I may as well leave it there actually for now because I don't have any space up here for it. But that has sold. I think we took an offer. Um, and the same buyer. Is that? I've got something fluff on my arm. It's probably from uh, our new furry friend. I'll, I'll go and get Jeff in a bit because I know you're going to want to see Jeff. Now, now we have Jeff in our lives, you're going to want to see an appearance from him. Um, so as well as that hospital, the buyer also picked up these Playmobil DVDs. The order came to £33. So did I take... No, I think the, the hospital went for the full asking price of 30 then, yeah. Okay, cool. Right, so what else do we need to find? Um, there's some clothing. Andrea is clearing the rest of our clothing stock that is listed. Um, I don't have that with, be, with me, but we've sold a red geometric print sleeveless pencil dress. Um, we need some wiggly worms. Now... Cabinet 32. So I've been listing board game spares to clear old stock. And in drawer 32, there's a load of wiggly worms. Now these come from a game, um, I'm just reading it. Peter Pan play things wiggly worms is the game. Where well, you have like a, this, I think it's like an apple shaped um, playing board which is electronic and it all the, the worms like wiggle up and down and you have to grab them and you're supposed to collect the colors that that you're trying to collect so anyway I had a load of spares and I've made a lot which is one of each color and there's four colors I believe yeah Whee! come back like that and one lot of four wiggly worms with little smiley faces is a whole four pounds <laughs> but it's good to get them moving we've sold a seven inch single by the members we've sold a little cat light up torch thing Nintendo Wii game table tennis Faber Castell 12 uh, watercolour triangular pencils. Faber Castell table tennis cat members. Right, remember all of that, please, because I will likely forget. Table tennis. That one. Hardly any value in it, but I had it, so I sold it. Uh, Faber Castell. Now, I think think it's those with the free kind of extras. I think it's a pack of those. 
which is the last one, I think. Uh, the members, now the members is a seven inch single, so it's gonna be here. This one, which had, um, what's her name on? Angela Rippon. And one of these. Little cat torch. <laughs> is that everything? I think it was. So this is all low value stuff, but it soon adds up. Um, like three, four, five pounds an item. Um, I think the pencils might have been more. Uh, seven pounds on the pencils. Did I pick the right ones? Yes. Yeah, that was the last pack of these. Good stuff. So, all done. We sold two Yahtzee score pads. I think I've cleared all of that now. Again, when I was clearing board game spares, um, I had loads of Yahtzee pads. So I made, I don't know how many different listings up of the different styles of Yahtzee score pad. And we have cleared all of them already. Um, so a tiny little, well, there's hardly any there really, but tiny little pad for the travel version. Um, got three pounds for that. There's hardly any sheets on it. So that's good to go. And then 48 of the original Yahtzee score sheets, uh, four pounds. Then we sold Frozen on DVD and then an order came in while we were live. Um, so what's the name on the order? I think it was Daniel. Um, yeah, lots of CDs. So we're going to pick those in a second. I think there was a PC game in there as well. So yeah, lots of media. So we need I'm going to write it all down and then we'll go and find it. One sec. So, I'm now armed with a list. We will go and find everything. So, we need Frozen Sealed. Sealed stuff is down here. There it is. Then we need a whole load of CDs. Let's move this thing out of the way again. So, list, where's it gone? Here we go. Oh, first thing we need is a PC game, Grim Fandango. Then we need Madonna Greatest Hits Volume 2. I had a couple of those, that's the last one to go. Uh, Moulin Rouge, which is here. Oh, and the one above it has gone as well. Now, I don't think this other one went to Daniel, but Moulin Rouge is going to Daniel. This one, Roddy Woomble. Yeah, Roddy Woomble. Me either. I don't know. <laughs> he sold. Um, REM was going to Daniel. Um, An REM best of. Oh, come on. I didn't get that. Could you try again? No. Okay. Hang on a second. Close that. My computer's talking to me. Right, Madonna, two albums. There we are, right at the top. Music and Ray of Light. Ray of Light, such a good album, really is. Um, Crowded House, Recurring Dream, the very best of, good stuff. Reservoir Dogs, oh, we've got a couple of these listed, so we've now sold one. That one. Madonna Singles, now that's these in here. I'm not sure it was, was it all of those? That may be two different lots. So I'm going to have to check whether it was all of those or not. And we've already found Roddy Woomble. So most of that is going to Daniel. Thank you so much.
Ooh. Yeah, while we were live last night, we were kachinging quite a bit and it was these CDs going. So I was just going to check on the Madonna. I think I made two lots. So we need American Pie, Music, Beautiful Stranger, Ray of Light. Yeah, so these two, they are a separate lot. So those haven't sold. But we need American Pie, Beautiful Stranger, Music, and Ray of Light. Yeah, so it's those four will go with the others. Reservoir Dogs, Crowded House, two Madonna albums, R.E.M. This is going to somebody else, the Roddy Woomble. Uh, pop that up there. Moulin Rouge, Madonna, Grim Fandango. And then the Frozen is going to a different buyer. But all of that, thank you so much, Daniel will be winging its way to you today. Now I promised these people, oi, are you paying attention? I promised these people that you'd get in the video. Do you want to say hello? <laughs> You're gonna say hello, you're gonna say hello. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got, oh, what have you been eating? Anyway, if you didn't see our live stream on Sunday, this is Jeff, he's, he's the dog we've just adopted um, and he's very soppy, aren't you? Very soppy little dog with the most amazing ears. Watch your ears, watch your ears, show your ears, show your ears. No, there they are. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, are we done now? Are you gonna say goodbye? Nope, okay. So yeah, that was little Jeff for you. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that. For today's video, I'm going to link one of Andrea's videos. My wife Andrea has her own channel. She does thrifting videos on there and haul videos and all sorts of other stuff. So I'll link one of hers. Please check it out and go over there and sub to Andrea. Take care and I will see you soon. Bye.